Unemployment claims are back up and higher than expected. The new report from the Labor Department shows first-time claims totaled 744,000 last week. That was well above the 694,000 that economists had predicted. This comes despite recent signs of healing in the jobs market. Federal and city officials are touting help from the American Rescue Plan in keeping people on the job in Philadelphia. The bill provided money to save airline jobs. NBC 10's Lauren Meg met workers impacted and found out how long that money could last. Deborah Jeffers calls the 188 days she was furloughed some of the hardest days of her life. With it came the feelings of despair, anger, uncertainty, and of course, fear. The pandemic cut traffic and jobs, but Jeffers is now back working as a customer service coordinator for American Airlines. What is it like to be back at work? Words can't describe it. The days that I was gone, the days that I was furloughed, I miss this place. Federal, city, and airport officials today touting the help from federal dollars in the American Rescue Plan. Help is coming. Jeffers and local union president Walter Garrett offering a peek into the personal impact. In our local, there were about 105 letters sent out. Garrett recalling when American Airlines sent out a list of employees that could be furloughed. In my mind, I was thinking, I am about to seal the envelope that will change someone's life. After the bill passed, the airline sent word the letters could be torn up. Garrett made calls to workers. What were those conversations like? Oh, joyous, joyous, very joyous. Everyone was happy. It's like more or less a sigh of relief. Philadelphia International and Northeast Philly airports got about $260 million in three relief bills, but the air travel industry could take years to recover. How long is this money going to hold you, and do you think you're going to need more? Airport CEO Shelly Cameron. We spend about a million dollars a day to keep the airports operational, so that's about 260 days worth. Of, of funding. We're trying to look ahead to make sure that we reserve some of it to make sure that we are going to be healthy for the next couple years as things come back. More funding could come to airports like this one in an infrastructure bill President Biden has proposed, funding it with a corporate tax increase. Are you concerned that that could stall any job growth? If you increase that for companies? Our corporate tax rate is at the lowest level in decades. Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon arguing we need everybody to pay their fair share. At Philadelphia International Airport, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.